Hi Neos community. Today I'm going to talk about performance and uh, just general Neos backend improvements uh, we have been doing. So as you do and we do, uh, we are running Neos with bigger and bigger projects and it's important to keep the code base clean on the one side and also the performance uh, improved at step by step uh, as we see problems. And an area where we have um, been doing some improvements is the Neos backend actually, specifically how the content tree is loaded. So um, let's just take a normal Neos instance here, the demo side as usual, and um, I'll explain how we did this before and how it is done now. Um, in, in the old version, what we did is we loaded the content tree by, um, by rendering the page and then on the page itself, embed like hidden JavaScript, um, which contains and hidden JSON containing the information which we needed uh, uh, for, for all the data in the content tree. So that means the, the rendering of the page was necessary to, to render the content tree here on the, on the lower area. And the idea back then was actually that we have the nodes anyways when we are rendering and then we can just reuse the data which we have anyways and use that for the content tree. And you might think that's actually a good idea, but it turned out this had all kinds of difficult problems. So for instance, if the rendering was broken for some reason, so let's say a node type didn't exist, then we suddenly had the problem that the node wasn't uh, really uh, around in the content tree anymore and we need to fix that. Because the user needed a way to select the node and remove it, for instance, to fix the rendering error. So that means we needed to, to, cle uh, to think about lots of these kind of chicken and egg problems. And this over time led to a more and more complex code base. And what we did, uh, another area which uh, had problems was if you uh, deleted some nodes or if some nodes of the page were not used for rendering, um, but still they were on the page, we, we always explicitly had to check that all the nodes which are part of this document are actually um, somehow touched so that um, they are the, the content tree is always complete. And that was quite brittle, it was quite complicated. And also um, is this led to a lot of SQL queries on the backend uh, while we are rendering. So on uh, what we did now in this release was changing this behavior. So that means we now have a just pretty simple API. We, we do an extra API call to load the content tree in the same way as we have an API to load the document tree on top. And if you change uh, your pages, then the content tree loading and the rendering of the page are just two completely separate things. Um, and this solves all these problems and we were able to remove quite some code with it. If uh, I can show that now if I click something, um, then you'll see that sometimes the content tree is even loaded before the page. So just watch the timing now when I click a page here. So you see now it's finished and now the page is rendered. Um, so that means the content tree is way faster and the API is way faster sometimes than the rendering, especially if the caches are empty. And of course I'm running in development context here for, for my local development setup. So that means uh, in production that is of course not so noticeable but um, that's just an area where we did uh, some improvements. And that's just um, important, I think, uh, to, to mention that these kind of improvements are quite a lot of work. And it's, uh, well, how to say it, that actually you don't see that much at the end, but still it's tremendously important for the project to do these kind of things because um, otherwise, um, well, the code quality would be worse and worse and worse. And of course, that's not what we want over time, but we want a high quality and very stable project. So that means it's just important to do these kind of cleanups and to also invest in these kind of learnings. And um, so that's what we did in this release. And I'm really happy about that. So thanks for watching and see you soon. <laughs>